In the 1988 case, Basic Incorporated v. Levinson, the United States Supreme Court held that plaintiffs in securities fraud cases brought under Rule 10b-5 of the Securities and Exchange Act of 1934 may invoke a rebuttable presumption of reliance based on the fraud-on-the-market theory. Under this theory, plaintiffs don't need to show they actually relied on a misstatement or omission, but only that they relied on the integrity of the stock price. In the 2002 case, West v. Prudential Securities, the Seventh Circuit considered whether the fraud-on-the-market theory could be used by plaintiffs in a case involving non-public misstatements. In the early 2000s, James Hoffman was a stockbroker for Prudential Securities. As a stockbroker, Hoffman privately told 11 of his customers that Jefferson Savings Bank Corp. was definitely going to be acquired in the near future by another entity. Based on this information, the customers purchased Jefferson's stock. But Hoffman's statement was a lie, and there was no impending acquisition. Subsequently, Dean West and Lindell Eicholtz, individually and on behalf of a class of investors in Jefferson, brought a securities fraud class action against Prudential in the United States District Court for the Southern District of Illinois. The action was filed on behalf of a class of investors and not just Hoffman's customers, because a suit by the customers alone would have put them at risk of prosecution for insider trading. After a hearing, the court certified the plaintiff's class, basing its decision on the fraud on the market theory. Prudential then filed an interlocutory appeal of the class certification to the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit.